But if you, so you don't believe that evolution happened? Are you saying no. that, so you don't believe it's possible that God, and I'm going to make it in the way that I speak so it's fun, okay. that God sneezed and went, I got a great idea, and created a universe which then took its... Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. movement because I believe from dinosaurs to birds, for, for all of from all of those things, I, I believe that God has given us a couple of markers to work from. I believe that, mm -hmm. and so I have to believe that all of the knowledge that He's put into us to learn, He said, "Listen, take it and run with it." This is why I created you. I, I'm not sure that I can so you actually believe in both. So you can you, you can't have one without the other. Mm -hmm. I don't think. But I don't think you can have that. science and, let me and, just point and out, God. Yes, darling. Four members of the Republican Party who were running for president also, also yes. do not believe in evolution. Yes. So if there was a gasp in the audience, then it should be a bigger gasp. Is the world flat? Is the world flat? Yes. I don't know. What do you think? I, I never thought about it, Whoopi. I, is the world flat? I never thought about it. You, you I, never I, thought about whether never, the world was no, round? No, but I'll tell you what I've thought about, yeah. how I'm going to feed my child, well, you how I'm going to take care of my family. The world, is the world flat, has never entered into, uh -huh. like, it, that has not been an what important teach, thing to me. You'll teach your son, Jeffrey, right? If my right? son, Jeffrey, asked me, is the world flat, I guess I will go. You know, and, didn't Columbus right. already so work this question out? Yeah. I mean, why are we I'm mad because my question was, yeah. if science tells us mm -hmm. that the world is round, yeah. mm -hmm. What's where? Where would you negate that well, science? Because, well, let me get the yeah, yeah. let me get it out first. Yeah, 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 yeah. That science may say, okay, here's what we think has happened. And if you put your faith in the idea that the world is round, can we not also believe that part of that comes from the is evolution and that's what as I think well? God yeah. gives us those kinds okay, of markers. That's what I was you know, you. he okay. gives us those kinds of markers, but there are things that he does say in the Bible mm -hmm. that I, I take absolutely but and yeah, I believe in. Some, he said he created. Some, the Bible mm -hmm. is certainly to be respected and beloved. But what about some of the scientific things, like is the world flat or round, and do we get energy from the sun and so forth? And those, you, are, well, you those, 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 are, those, those are those markers that God goes, I'm, you know, that, that, you know, I have a free will and but I have a mind. If son says to you, Mom, is the world round or flat? And I'll have to go, baby, we got to go to the library. Really awesome to watch them, but they're also very difficult to execute. Hey, uh, none of you guys are funny. If you want to prevent cancer, consider standing out in front of the shuttle that's running in front of the hotel on the hour. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bowflex Grandma, for the $150 donation. What would Waluigi do? Kill the animals. So that spot right there is pretty much the entire reason for the uh, route change. If you kick every Latino out of this country, then who is going to be cleaning your toilet, Donald Trump? Oh, that's no. In the sense that, no. you know what I mean? Like, when I'm saying there's that... More, there's more jobs to be... In L.A., they always... But, but, but they Latinos don't, are not only the no, only people No, I didn't mean it like that. that. Come on. No, I... Hi, thank you for giving me this drink. You are pretty cute. <laughs> Did he just close that? Are you kidding me? What? Dude, he's so rude. I'm so embarrassed. He's so rude. I'm so embarrassed. Look, they just got engaged. Since y'all just got engaged, what's y'all's fetish? I'm really, really into Asian women despite what I'm marrying. Bruh. I'm literally a white woman. I don't know what to say about that, so... Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. <laughs> What's your fetish? My Man. fetish? That man right there. This That's one. Yeah, thank I you. I hope y'all have a great wedding. Thank you. Hey, excuse me.
hella random, but I just think you're like pretty as hell. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I just wanted to say hi real quick. Thank say my you. name is Chris, and that's about Sarah. it. Sarah. Yeah, Sarah. I'm Chris. Nice to meet you. Emily, nice to meet you. Uh, where, are you from around here? Or? I am. Oh, okay. Can but I? I'm also married with a uh, baby. On the way. That's a nice no, ring. Thank you. I'm no, sorry. I have I was a two-year-old daughter. Ah. I know. <laughs> Y'all look like my age. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 24. 24. Yeah. I'm 30. Ah, then yeah, you. Yeah, y'all look younger than me and shit at this point. Wait, that's a compliment, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take that any day. I'll take that any day. One day I'm gonna find my wife and she's gonna look. You will. Heck yeah, you are. Just like you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm manifesting for you. Huh? I'm manifesting it for you. Oh, it's coming. Don't worry about that. Like the muscles. Ladies love me. I got a big willy. What more could they want? And I've got yeah, I've got guns. That's why I'm. That's why I'm gangster. Yo, swag. If we go back like a couple hundred years, it was pretty normal to own slaves. Is that right or correct? God, why are we talking about slavery? Because I'm showing you why the ad populum fallacy is a logical fallacy. Honestly, back then, a lot of black people participated in the slave trade themselves, so. Yeah, that doesn't make slavery right. Are you trying to defend slavery? It was slavery? a product of the time, dude. It are was you trying to defend slavery? Did you not see Matt Walsh's new video on this topic? I did, and I think that defending slavery is cringe as Defending slavery, but I think we're illogical if we didn't realize that a lot of black people enjoyed being slaves back when slavery was a thing. Um, well, how do you know that black people enjoy being slaves? I mean, it's just in history. I've like read about like a lot of black people not only participated in capturing slaves, but a lot of black people enjoyed being slaves. Because of course, when you're when you're really? brought up doing something like being a slave your whole life, it's all you know. I'm sure a lot of slaves probably enjoyed it and were happy because that's the only lifestyle they were aware of. That's crazy. Can you not like? Can you not think like that? Like, is it really that dense? I have of never like, heard of somebody enjoying having to work countless hours on a plantation being dehumanized and whipped and told they're not human and being beaten within an inch of their life and being saying that I don't okay. think that people I'm enjoy just saying that you can't deny the fact that there were probably slave owners that just like there were really bad ones there were probably slave owners that probably treated their slaves really nice too right like you're not thinking logically you're being so dense so I'm just gonna say that in general I think it's wrong to own humans of course we're not in that time period anymore but you're defending slavery I'm not defending it I'm saying it was a product of the time you said that black people enjoy being slaves I think there were probably a good majority of black people who back then were born and raised as slaves probably because that's the only thing they knew it was the environment they grew up in if they had a slave owner who treated them well they probably enjoyed their lives a few of them i think it's illogical to believe that every person who was a slave back then hated their life i truly think that's illogical i do i'm pretty sure that being owned is not a good thing because you grew up in this generation and this is what you've been taught and we know these things now no but back then, not just because i was societal standards were not created yet not just because i grew up in this generation but because i can think logically and morally on this topic and why it is unfair to own another human based off of their birth as having like a certain skin color, for example, that, that's unfair. I'm pretending and like I'm illogical. saying it's okay to own slaves now because that's not what I'm insinuating. You are defending slavery. I'm not defending it. I'm just giving you the facts. Aren't you all about facts over feelings? Yeah. And I believe that slavery is immoral. Right. But, and I do too. But the fact was back then, I think you're illogical you if you slavery. think that some of them didn't enjoy being slaves or enjoy their lives. Why would anyone enjoy being? a slave that's the environment you grew up in that's all you've ever known so if you grew up in that environment and you have a slave owner who treats you well that's just all they know so they probably were happy about it they didn't know freedom why is it so hard for you to understand this what does like a, a slave owner, owner treating their slave well look like i mean back then i'm sure some of them i'm pretty sure they fed them right or probably that like they weren't whipping anybody or like not tormenting anyone just like i don't have like specific details for oh, okay you. as long as you're working inhumane hours on plantations but you're being fed then that's a good thing again can, i'm not saying slavery that. was a good thing you're not gonna like try to make it seem like that's what i'm saying because i don't know what you want me to say if you want to believe that every person back then who was a slave hated their life go for it baby there is no other person i'd rather be with than you staring at your body it just gets me aroused kissing you making out there's no other thing that I want to do than be inside of you. I want to be inside of you and I want you to fill every inch of my dick.
because I worship you. I want to make you feel good. You are my goddess to worship, protect, and your pussy makes me feel magical. I hope that every thrust of my cock is worth everything. Because I know one thing, it's completely worth it on my end. It's completely worth having my hand stroke down your body and onto your hips. I'm even getting a boner now just thinking about it. You get me so aroused. You're so wonderful. It's my own little wonderland when I'm in bed with you. I'm laying down. There's nothing I wouldn't do for you. You are goddamn gorgeous. And you just make the world such a better place. And I love you for that. I love you a lot. Fucking sexy bitch. Mwah. wild thing look at this oh my god how does the mirror know no. that that's there that's creepy planets aren't real you heard me and i have proof in the bible god specifically only created the sun moon and stars nowhere in the bible will you ever find mention of planets but here's the thing about stars they're also commonly referred to in the Bible as angels. For instance, in Revelation, it mentions one-third of the stars falling from heaven. In Matthew 24, 29, it talks about how those stars will fall from heaven during tribulation as well. The best part is, is that I know exactly what kind of angels these were. These angels are referred to as Galgalim, and they're described in Ezekiel. This is a great representation of what Ezekiel saw. This is a Galgalim. Now I want you guys to really look at the structure of what a Galgalim looks like. And now I want to show you what a star looks like from a telescope. I'll show you a video. Look familiar? Now here's my leading point. I'm pretty sure that all of these planets are actually just fallen angels. And it's proven across so many different cultures. All of these gods were fallen stars. That's why when I talk about how dangerous astrology is, I couldn't be more dead serious. Nothing on earth is what it seems, but the word of God is what will always be. Oh, you really think that that is good? 
gonna impress me? It should. Money doesn't fucking impress me. Well, I'm sorry. It does not life. impress me. Then you lost in life. $2,802. Welcome to a game I like to call Trisha Pandas or Eric Cartman. A game where I give you six scenarios and three of them happen to Eric Cartman on the hit TV show South Park and three of them happen to Trisha Paytas, an internet personality. Okay, let's go. Answer will be at the end. Okay, number one. Uh, dance and made out with a cardboard cutout of a celebrity on camera. Hmm. Uh, had a friend that was Jewish, and they constantly fun of for being Jewish, and then married a Jewish person, and then claimed to have converted to Judaism. Hmm. That's a hard one. Uh, claimed to be transgender, and then dressed up as the opposite gender for a music video, even though no one asked him to do so. Had a short-lived Christian music era. Thought they were an Asian person and then got a boob job and regretted it and talked about it openly. Okay, give you some time to think. If you said both of them, you'd be correct. Every single one of these has happened to both Eric Kurtman and Trisha Paytas. Thank you for watching. Pepper ramen, blue takis, blue taki powder, red hot, ooh, baja blast hot sauce, blast my bag, daddy, hot ones, the last dub. Ah, I'm gonna explode. Mix. It's green. Why is it burning? Last spoon. Stop saying it! Oh. Mm, mm. Red hot! Mm. Ah. My tummy hurts! No reaction!